anything else I need to bring up. Uh, Like I said, uh, here now, in these next two weeks, my schedule will be kind of busy, so I don't know if I'll be able to do a video every week. Uh, one, we got to get this new house ready. We got some cleaning up stuff to do around the yard. Uh, have some painting to do. I got to do packing and stuff like that, get stuff ready, start throwing some stuff away that I don't need no more. Stuff like that. We're moving to a bigger residence than what I'm in now. So, I mean, I won't have to throw away a lot of my stuff. I'll just have to throw, I'm just gonna be throwing away stuff that I don't need no more. Stuff that I've accumulated that I don't need. Uh, let's see. Alright. We'll go, we'll start with uh, my dipping history. I started dipping when I was about hmm, 12 years old, 13 years old. First ever dip was Copenhagen Winter Green. A uh, buddy of mine gave it to me, it was 16 at the time. He gave me a full can. And he said, You ever tried to dip? I said, no. He said, well, here, try this. I said, all right. I took a dip of it, and I enjoyed it. I really did. Uh, so I started dipping. Uh, my daily dip then was Copenhagen Winter. Got braces about 13, 14 years old. I still dipped. I dipped until I was about 14, halfway through my 14, and uh, I stopped dipping. For, I stopped tobacco all together for about two or three months. Uh, when I started back with tobacco, just after I got my braces off. I, not too long from my 15th birthday, uh, I started cheap. And I cheated for, like I said, a good while. And uh, here recently, I found a uh, log of Copenhagen Natural in my, our local Walmart. I said, well, hey, I'm tired of you. I mean, I love you and everything like that. Every now and then I'll do a chew video on here, but just got tired of you after a while. It didn't really give me any effect anymore. I packed me a big old cheek to where I look like a damn squirrel. And it didn't really give me effect. Uh, so I was like, hey, Why not get back to dip? So, like I said, I found this log of Copenhagen Natural in my local Walmart. I got a buddy who lives right here beside me. Really good buddy of mine. He's from Florida. Uh, I'll probably do a video of him tomorrow. Y'all can see him. Me and him put a dip in together and everything. Uh, and y'all can meet him. He can talk a little bit to y'all. And I found this, and I went out there and I bought it. Here, this log was about fifteen dollars where I live. Uh, this is where I started back with, like I said. Uh, I love it. I love the taste of it. Everything like that. Mm. Mm. Then, uh, right after I started dipping this, I went back to my hometown one day. A buddy of mine, he had never dipped before in his life. He went out and bought a full log of Copenhagen Winter Green. Took one dip out of it, decided it wasn't for him. So he gave me a whole log of Copenhagen Red Green. So I keep me a log out of my backpack. Or I keep me a can out of my backpack. Because that's a little bit easier to get away with in school. Because it smells minty. Uh, so I usually dip that in school. I don't, I don't know, I guess just I dipped Copenhagen Winter Green so long, or Winter Green period so long, that it just. I don't know, I don't, I don't have really care for it anymore, so that's not what I dip all the time. I mean, every now and then y'all see me have a dip of it on a video, or a chew at Red Man Gold Blend. I'll get that Red Man Gold Blend real quick, I'll show y'all that. This, uh, this was my chew of choice while I was chewing. I still got about half a bag of it from when I stopped. Uh, Like I said, every now and then y'all catch me with them. I'll put one of these in. Uh, my 
buddy wheel. Uh, I think it's dip choice. Daily dip is Copenhagen Mint. It just came out up here about a month ago. Uh, like I said, y'all uh, y'all comment where you from, like state-wise. Y'all ain't got to tell me y'all city, which, I mean, I'll, I might eventually tell y'all what city I live in. I don't know yet. Uh, or at least what county I live in. Some of y'all, who knows, some of my viewers might be from around where I live. Uh, it, like I said, Copenhagen met camp here a while ago, a little, about a month ago. Uh, I tried Copenhagen mint before, I don't too much care for any mint dip. Except for wintergreen, that really ain't mint dip. But uh, hmm. I used to dip grizzly wintergreen for a little while or grizzly straight I'd, I'd prefer to have a straight dip or like a southern blend or natural or something like that than I would have wintergreen or mint or something like that just mint stuff ain't for me every now and then I probably do a video on the car with mom or somebody or a little segment of a video anyways part of the vlog and car with mom y'all get to talk to her or y'all hear from her it gets pretty interesting for me and her or my dad uh, long car trip two and a half hour car trips usually is where I'll be doing those video segments or just a roundabout in town one day uh, like I said I play football uh, I play running back and outside linebacker uh, I've played football since Pee Wee since I was about five six years old played football started playing baseball about five years old t-ball league and then uh, I stopped playing baseball when I was about 12 years old the place where I was living there and I didn't too much enjoy the coaching staff for the baseball team there so me and them re we really didn't get along too well so I kind of got out of baseball and stuck with football. I played football my whole entire career, my whole entire, ever since I was about five or six years old. Uh, had a little setback my freshman year. I tore my ACL playing against a team in Dyersburg. Uh, had to have ACL reconstruction surgery. That put me out of football for about a year. Uh, didn't get to play my sophomore year really from mainly because I missed summer practice and then I moved about halfway through the season from that place I ain't too much enjoyed football coach staff there neither but I put up with it long enough so I could stay on team but when I moved up here I was too late in the season to play football here my sophomore year I'll be starting my junior year uh, uh, like I said, one day I might do a video where I say on my truck and everything. Uh, Will, he's got a pretty nice truck himself. He's got, I believe, a 2010-2011 Chevy Silverado C71. Uh, my truck, it ain't. Ain't nothing big and special, but it's four wheel drive. It's a XLT, it's got a leveling kit on it. It's got, I put some BF Goodrich, BF Goodrich MTs on it. Uh, like I said, one day I'll do a little video showing y'all my truck and everything. But other than that, I believe that's about it for tonight. This was a little intro video, just telling y'all a little about myself. Uh, anything else y'all want to know about me, leave in the comments. I can either email you or talk about in the videos. It don't really matter to me. Y'all just let me know what y'all prefer me to do. And that's what I do. Uh, like I said, any topic show when we talk about, nothing's off limits. I'll talk about anything. Uh, anyways, good talking to y'all. It's the first video. Welcome to the channel. Y'all subscribe, like, comment, anything y'all want to do. That's it.